We believe this could be the very last spicy, cheesy, grilled chicken sandwich recipe you will ever need. Spicy because we're making our own tomatillo salsa, our very own. Cheesy because we're making our own delicious cheese sauce and putting the tomatillo salsa in it. And then grilled chicken because we're grilling chicken. I don't have any other flowery, more descriptive words than that. But when the whole thing comes together with some avocado and tomato and crispy lettuce, it's going to be fucking glorious. Yes, it will. Oh, I got to go further than this. Uh, and I have a surprise. Stay there. Here's the sound of it. We'll get to that. We start with our tomatillo salsa, and at the heart of it are a bag of tomatillos. Stand by. Oh, by. it cuts like a dream. These are tomatillos. You've heard of them, you've seen them. They're green. They have this papery husk on them that we're going to pull off. And they look like this underneath. That. And by the way, it is not related to the tomato family. It's like a gooseberry family or something. And this is kind of an ugly one. Here, let's look at this one. There you go. That's better. Yeah, that was like an old wrinkly ass one. Just like that. We don't want this paper husk. So we're going to pull this off. And once you pull it off, this is sticky. And you don't want this sticky. This is a f***ing sticky one. F*** you. So we're going to pull the husk off all of these, about a pound. Give them a quick rinse, and then we'll go from there. And once they're peeled and washed, we put them on our baking sheet. They're on the baking sheet with the following. Two jalapenos one half of a white onion chopped up, and four cloves of garlic unpeeled. See how I did that without looking? That was good. I feel so stupid. You're so talented. I'm so talented. This now will go under the broiler. About this far away, for a three and a half-ish minutes aside until it starts to get a little brown, then we flip, do the same on the other side, and we'll bring it back out. And we're back. And this is what it looks like. Onions softened nicely. The tomatillos have gotten squishy, soft, and gorgeous. The jalapenos, look, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. And the garlic looks like this. And if you break the skin, what you get is just straight, amazing roasted garlic on the inside. And all of this will go in our processor. Let me just peel the garlic cloves first. We'll throw these guys in, one, two, three, and four. Honestly, there's nothing like roasted garlic. I'm gonna take the stems off the top of the jalapenos, like that. And then everything else, including any juices that might have come out when they were cooking, can go in here. Uh-oh, 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 oh, it's falling. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. That. Random. Random. Now we're going to take about a half of a uh, bunch of cilantro. Twist, throw this in. A big pinch of kosher salt and fresh ground pepper. Put the lid on. And we mix. Look at. And we're going for chunky, Max. We're not going for mushy. What that is? Some gorgeous effing tomatillo salsa right there that you could have by itself like this okay so 
Here's what happens when you roast vegetables. They get sweet. The tomatillos in this, unbelievable. The onion, unbelievable. That nice hint of roasted garlic. But the jalapenos, while sweetened, yes, they still have a really gorgeous amount of heat. This, this you should be making once a week. Throw it in the fridge. Use it, make it again. Use it, make it again. Here, hold on. Let's just see how Max feels about this. Wait for it, wait for it. Let the heat sneak up a little bit at the end. Oh my God. Oh my God, am I right? It's not just a little heat, oh. You got too much heat there? Holy shit, that is so good though. Okay, but here's what we're gonna do. This is going in our, were you all good? Yes. Little, little upper lip heat? Yes. Uh, so what will, look, this by itself is amazing, but this is going in our cheese sauce. That's gonna go in our chicken sandwich. So we still have to make the cheese sauce. Uh, we have to make the chicken. I don't know what to do next. Who, what do you wanna do next? Do you care? Chicken? I don't really care. Chicken next, let's go. Get the chicken happening. And our chicken starts with, yeah, you guessed it. Actual chicken. In uh, this case, we're using a breast. You've seen this drill before. Little uh, avocado oil on one side, little on the other. We mush it around, we mush it around. We seal it up, getting out as much air as possible. And then, our goal is simple. In this case, we don't just want a flat piece of chicken, we want a super skinny flat piece of chicken. I like the idea of there being some, a bunch of layers of really thinly grilled chicken in this. So, we'll grab something heavy and flat, like this pot, and we will whack the F out of it. We're getting there. And when it's thin like you want, I want this like a thin blanket of chicken. It's kind of gross, isn't it? A, bl <laughs> a blanket of chicken. Beautiful. All right, this I think is going to be perfect. The chicken's ready, but now I've got a couple things to do to get prepared for it because when the chicken comes off, I'm going to want it to go right into the sandwich. So I'm not going to cook it yet. I'm going to take it, lovingly put it over to the side, and now we'll start our cheese sauce and then and, and then we can get shit happening. We'll take our pot, we'll put on the Evo. Why do I feel like I have to do everything not looking today? I've Show got, I'm not, I'm not sure enough. I have a little bit of milk that I'm gonna put in and start warming. When I say a little bit, I mean like, you know, like a few tablespoons. Okay, so, a little milk in. And then we take our cheese, which is white American cheese. You know those orange slices that we love to melt? Well, this is their not orange cousin. And it's just as good. And it's gonna make an amazing little sauce. So just take these and bust them up. And throw them in. So then we go. The heat will start warming the milk. The milk will start warming the cheese. The cheese will melt. We'll add more milk when we want to get our consistency perfect. But for now, it's a perfect little start. Ow. I can burnt myself on that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and it jarred my neck, and my neck hurts from something the other day. Oh, God. Let's just give it a little stir. Like this is gonna this is gonna take a couple minutes. So you can see, it's beginning, slowly. In fact, starting to happen faster and faster. So at this point, let's add one thing, a tiny bit of cumin, just to, just to make this a little more interesting. Mmm, look how beautiful. And now, Maxi, is our beautiful tomatillo salsa. Let's put some of this in. Good God. Good God, man. 
This is gonna go on top of the chicken sandwich. Let it do its thing. I'm sensing more milk will be coming into this in a minute, but I want it to get a little hotter first. And by the way, we've made our own tomatillo salsa. Um, if you don't want to, but you still like the idea of this cheese sauce, then just buy a jar of green salsa or a jar of tomatillo salsa or salsa verde or whatever your favorite is. And if you want to make it and you only have red salsa at home, you can throw that in. Changes the color, of course, but it will still be delicious. Could you do this with regular orange Kraft American slices, Max? Yes or no? 100% you could. Again, it would change the color. Kraft American slices, orange ones, and red salsa might make an interesting color combination. We like this. And of course, we're always thinking of, what is it, Max? You guys. The JPEG. Thank you. I was actually <laughs> thinking too. of Jilly. Uh, the JPEG. We want the, we want the picture to be pretty. And the idea of a, of a sauce this color as opposed to a red one is better. But Max is also right. We're always thinking of you guys. I am, at least. I'm not sure he is. Now, this is almost there. Now I think we can grill our chicken. And then the whole thing can start to go, which means coming together in unison. Is that weird? No. Okay, good. Oh, weird now that you said that. How, is, how gorgeous is that going to be? Okay, I pounded the chicken so thin, it's going to have to go in a few pieces. Ah! What have I done? So everybody calm down, we're going to be fine. Come on up, you guys. There we go. Okay. Everybody's all right here. Everybody's all right. Everybody's cooking beautifully. And by the way, will not take very long because of how thin it is. So as the pieces start to present themselves as ready, we can turn them. Nice. Tiny bit of salt and pepper on this side. Not too much because it's very thin. It's looking good. And when it's ready, off it comes. Just, ow, ow. Ow. Ah, sh Let's go. We're ready to put this together. Uh, I need to cut some thin slices of tomato. But here's the exciting part. Here's the, this part that I teased earlier. I'm going to cut these with my very own Sam the Cooking Guy knife. Yeah. Look, this is the, the, the prototype. It's almost there. It's almost there. Uh, we'll, we'll be prepared to announce it officially in, in, in a week, maybe two weeks. By, by then, we hope. But there's a couple small changes. Logo, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm in love for a lot of reasons. I'll save it for, for when we make an official announcement, but it's ready for the secret part. Look how stupid I am, but enough for now. Let's just watch it cut a tomato. Shall we? Cause I haven't cut a tomato with it yet. And I'm very excited. Oh my God. Oh, it's everything. It's in fact, it's more than everything. If you could marry a knife, if you could marry an inanimate object, I feel like that guy on TV and look how paper thin it cuts. Okay, off to the side. I can't go in anymore. Now the sandwich. So I've got a little French roll here. I cut, we're gonna leave the hinge for now. On the bottom, we're gonna go with some mayo. Japanese mayo, thank you. Just like that. We're gonna top that with some crispy iceberg lettuce, shredded. I guess iceberg gets a bad rap. It's cheap, it's just water. Well, it is. It's got a very high water content. It's also got a high crisp content. You can't do this with romaine. It's gorgeous, I love this shit. Don't ignore it. And now, Maybe the most perfectly, beautifully cut tomatoes I've ever seen in my life. Good f***ing Lord. How's that, Max? Good so far? Beautiful. 
Next. Ready? Ready. For some not guacamole, technically. It's just avocado that I've mashed up with a little salt and pepper and a little lime juice. That's it. Now our grilled chicken. Oh, gosh. How's that? And now our beautiful tomatillo cheese sauce that will look like this. Oh boy. And last but not least, Maxi, some pickled jalapenos, because why not? Because who doesn't like a, well, I'm sure some people don't, but what was that? And the only thing left to do is, oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Squoosh all this in, try and, oh, what a ridiculous amount of everything here. Fortunately, I have a large mouth with which to fit it all in. Oh, God, see, I try and make it pretty for the picture, and then it's all just jacked up for this. Everything's fucking falling out. I'm so... Stand by. So excited for this, but I just want a little bit more of that sauce right there. Wasn't that the right move? Oh my God. Oh my God. Every part of this, the, the crispy lettuce is contributing. The avocado is tremendous. The chicken, the crisp on the chicken, the... Cheesy tomatillo goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I was just saying, this could be actually a pasta dish. With some fettuccine, toss a little bit of oil on the plate, this chicken grilled, sliced on top, and this tomatillo cheese business over the top. Holy shit. I have to stop. Oh God. It was almost done. We have some new merchandise coming up. A couple designs you're really gonna like, so stay around for those. We still have a merchandise sale on, 20% off. Use the code 2020. I got nothing. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. This week at Not Not Tacos in San Diego, I've met so many of you that are, are diehard viewers. It's, it warms my heart, it really does. Thank you to everybody, Ben, Tammy, David. Oh, those are real names. Real names, yeah, 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 yeah. What was the, the, the girl from Australia? I can't remember her name, who was really sweet. Thank you, everybody for saying hello, being so kind. Just thank you guys so much. I have nothing left to say. What a surprise, I'm gonna eat more.